Five food tubers, Bora Tired, it's DJ Barbecue in Fronteira in the Algarve of Portugal. And today we're doing authentic chicken piri piri. Frango piri piri, as they say down here, and I've got two locals who are gonna help me with the dish. It's Alberto and Rui. Muito obrigado. Muito obrigado. Okay, Bravo. now they're gonna teach me a really quick and easy piri piri sauce for the chicken. So we've got our ingredients, we've got our pan. So we're gonna start with, is it, if we do butter first? Do it. Do it, okay, so two spoonfuls of butter in the pan. Okay. <laughs> I got excited. You're a good looking dude, man. I'm not blind. <laughs> no fast mouth, that means no problem. So, the last of the oil. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that much, garlic goes in the pan, here we go. All of that, a full bulb of garlic. They love their garlic down here. Okay, and next is the turn of bacon. So we got some chopped bacon, we're gonna throw into our cauldron. So that goes in, more, more garlic. <clears throat> okay, they said I didn't use enough garlic. <laughs> you want more butter? Hey, butter tastes good, right? Okay, there we go. So dried oregano going in, four, five stalks. The classic piri piri sauce can take a while to, be, to come into fruition. Like you make the base ingredients, but it's like the, the whiskeys or the madronas that you use to make the piri piri can take sometimes two weeks to a month to really become its own. So we're doing a quick piri piri recipe and we're using piri piri sauce, like a concentrated kind of hot sauce. If you can't get piri piri sauce, just use a hot sauce that you have in your local supermarket. All right, so that goes in. Here we go. I like, I like Alberto, he's, he's just whistling over here. Whistling, having a cigarette, you know, having a cold beer. <laughs> I, need, I need a beer. Okay, one more ingredient. They've just put out some, some uh, paprika. There we go. Obrigado. So, now, a key? Okay, so now we're gonna put it on to the barbecue. All these flavor combinations are perfect. It's like the best party. All your best mates, bacon, garlic, oregano, butter, and, and paprika. And then you got chicken. You know, the best party dude ever. Oh, this is perfect. How good does this look? Oh, but God. Uh, is it placima abaix a centro bedentro? But then, but then. I don't know what I said, but a friend of mine taught me that in 1992. <laughs> so now it's the turn of the chicken. So we got three whole chickens, three frangos. There we go, right down the breast, through the head. All right, so he's here, <laughs> there, there. Goldfish, This guy's just ripping limbs, man. Oh, look at that, he's making big old holes in the, in the chicken to get that flavor. Wow, okay. <laughs> Sorry, dude. It's a chicken, it ain't a horse. So, we're gonna sprinkle the salt to enhance that flavor of the frango. This, that is proper coal in there. That is from seasoned cork oak, locally sourced. And they also took some clippings from trees around here to get it all started, and now we've got Real charcoal with beautiful flavor. Piri Piri sauce done. Chicken's butchered and seasoned with sea salt. It's time to get these guys on the grill. Skin side down. Aqui. So there's our frangos on the refrigerator. <laughs> grill. <laughs> it's a good grill. I mean, have you seen this thing? I never thought about using the back of a refrigerator as a grill on an oil drum. <laughs> They're on it, man. Okay, the chicken's been on for 15 minutes, and now it's time to flip these bad boys. Oh, that's the coloring one. Listen, when you're cooking over live fire, barbecues, grills, it's all about heat and meat management. These chickens are gonna need about 30 minutes. Come here. You can still see, I know it's hot over here, bro, but you can see, still see the raw bits there. So we're gonna flip it and try to get that bit cooked all the way through to the bone. Yeah. 
Rui and Alberto have been keeping all their wood. <laughs> it's now full of empty beer bottles. <laughs> okay, Alberto said something very important to me. Add the sauce very slowly. When the sauce is warm and the chicken is warm, it'll absorb into the meat. So we grab a bit of the oil and we just slowly, just little bits in there. I'm learning a lot from Alberto. Cause like normally I wouldn't put incisions in the meat. So I want to keep all those juices in there. Alberto's putting slices everywhere. He actually wants that meat to go a bit dry so it sucks in the sauce. He's like a magician, a frango magician. How awesome does this chicken look, man? The golden brown color, the char on there, and the sauce has been absorbed into the meat, man. These look beautiful. So we're gonna pull them off, and then Alberto is gonna teach us a typical way of serving the chicken. Now watch this, he's got his tools here, man. Right down the middle, Alberto goes with the scissors. Oh man, that's a good pair of scissors right there, right? Okay. So we, the chicken gets hit with it twice. Oh, it smells phenomenal. There you have it, man. Beautiful Portuguese chicken piri piri. And now it's time for the taste test. Come on, Alberto Rui. Are you kidding me? That is so good. That sauce is perfect. Oh, ta bon, huh? Listen, we want to know how you would do your chicken. Let us know down below. We saw Alberto Zururi's chicken, man. Have you guys subscribed to the channel? No? Hit the button up there. Food Tube's right there, and DJ Barbecue's button is right there. I know Alberto and Rui are like, what's going on? I don't see any buttons. <laughs> but they are there. <laughs> I promise you that. <laughs> this tastes magical, man. I love this. Mm. Tabo, muito bem. Deja, até logo. Ciao. Wave, Alberto. Say goodbye. Say ciao. Ciao. Thank you, thanks, Alberto. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for all the love you cats have shown me on FoodTube. I've now got my own book out, 50 of the ultimate barbecue recipes you can't do without. Click the link or check out the description box to find out more.